Welcome back to the show. James Rule XRP. Follow me on X at Rule XRP, not financial advice. I'm a crypto teacher. Let's take a look at this kick ass news today. Today's episode is sponsored by Coinbase. You can earn up to $200 in free crypto by taking quizzes at Coinbase. Click on the link below, sign up, tell them James Rule XRP sent you by. Let's take a look at the numbers. Total market cap, $3 trillion, $57 billion. It's been seesawing. It's been going up and down. Well, guess what happened today? If we click on all-time highs, guess what happened today? Bitcoin went up to $93,311 today. Today, today, today. I don't know what it says one day ago. It was today. And if we look at the price overview right now, It dipped a little bit, and it's back at $90,544. Ethereum's at $31.90. Solana, $215. XRP, right around $0.69. I'll tell you what, people. I'll tell you what. You know, I was talking about Coinbase. Pepe was listed on Coinbase today. Guess what? Robinhood. We're going to look at Robinhood. XRP was listed on Robinhood today. I'll tell you what. There's millions upon millions upon millions of people out there that see XRP in the top 10 And it's been in the top 10 since its inception. Get excited, people. Some exciting things are happening. Bitcoin. I see Bitcoin hitting 100,000 here in the next week or two, if that long. I see XRP hitting a dollar easily before the end of the year. This is speculation. This is not true facts. Let's keep going. John Reed Stark. Now, John, John Reed Stark... Uh, is previously with the SEC, Office of Internet Enforcement. Well, you know, here in the past few years, he's been telling the community, well, you know, you need to follow the rules. Gary Gensler knows the rules. The SEC knows the rules. Well, finally, he woke up here, I don't know, in the last couple of months, he's been a bear in a cave, and he finally woke up to the fact and saw all the details that, Gary Gensler and the SEC were stifling this technology. So today he posted on X, SEC Chair Gensler should resign. The SEC staff should prepare a spreadsheet of all crypto-related investigations, litigating, and rulemaking so the new chair can swiftly grind them all to a screeching halt. Like it or not, the people have spoken and their will must be respected. Paul Newman, cool hand. Luke, Ellie Terrett, Fox Business, are you trolling, John? Well, check this out. Nah, I'm too old for trolling, and I don't really know what trolling is anyway, Eleanor. But I do know that the people have spoken and should be respected. The SEC's crypto enforcement wave, which has been extraordinarily successful in the court, should stop, and the SEC should instead refer crypto matters out to other law enforcement and regulatory agencies. There doesn't seem to be a halfway out. In other words, it will be tough for an SEC chair, on the other hand, per the 1933 Act, argue that digital assets are security, so fraud in connection with certain digital assets and a securities law violation. But then on the other hand, per the 34 Act, argue that digital assets are not security, so in titles transacting in them, no need to register. Well, that was a mouthful. Mark my words, with respect to SEC crypto enforcement and rulemaking, an SEC pause to study the technological innovation of digital assets is coming, perhaps under the auspices of a task force or special study, and that's fair given the election results. SEC Chair Gary Gensler should respect the landslide victory of big crypto, and the SEC staff should not partake in any sort of deep state subversion. The people have spoken. It's crypto caveat emptor going forward, and let the chips fall where they may. We're going to get regulations. We're going to get clear regulations. And it's going to happen next year, end of this year, next year. Check it out, Robin Hood. Today, good morning, Solana, Pepe, XRP, and Cordano are now available to trade on Robin Hood. I do not have a Robinhood account. I have a PayPal account. I have an Apple Pay account. I have a bank account. I have a debit card. And I have everything else, 95% of it, in digital assets. Get ready, people. It's happening. Paul Graywall, you've waited long. You've long wanted the frog. Well, soon you'll get the frog. Coinbase is adding Pepe to our listing roadmap with the goal of listing later today. And it is there now. Thank you for your patience. And it has gone up in value. 
Former Ripple advisor Michael Barr has been with the Federal Reserve. And here yesterday, Ripple and the Digital Chamber met with the Federal Reserve. And we're going to look at Michael's uh, Wikipedia here. It says Michael Barr born in 6566, same year I was born, 66, is an American legal scholar who has been serving as second vice chair of the Federal Reserve for supervision since 2022. From 2009 to 2011, he was assistant secretary of the Treasury for financial institutions under President Obama. At the University of Michigan, he has been serving as faculty member since 2001, professor of law since 2006, professor of public policy since 2014. And he previously was an advisor for Ripple. And now he's with the feds. He knows exactly what the XRP ledger is. He knows what XRP is. And he now knows what the RLUSD stablecoin, the Ripple USD stablecoin is. And it's going to be implemented into the United States. It's going to be used by banks. Banks are going to custody crypto in the United States. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. We're going to get clear guidelines to crypto. Odell Beckham Jr., so who said taking my RAM salary in Bitcoin was dumb again? And he shows a picture of $92,000 Bitcoin. Odell Beckham Jr. dunks on everyone who laughed at him for taking RAM salary in Bitcoin. It says when Odell Beckham Jr. signed with the Los Angeles Rams in 2021, he decided to take his $750,000 salary in Bitcoin. It was a bold call by the star receiver, especially after the price of Bitcoin had doubled in the four months before he signed the contract. Three years later, he's finally getting the last lap. Bitcoin is at an all-time high, soaring past $90,000 this week, which means Beckham's bet paid off. How much is it worth now? Multi-millions? Did he hold on to all of it? Did he sell some of it? Congratulations. Now, I don't know why I opened this tab up. I guess I'm just kind of going through here and looking through things, and sometimes I screw up. But check this out. Here's an article that came out today from Ana Paula Peria, Pereira. Thank you very much. One hour ago on Cointelegraph, and I'm fixing the sneeze. I apologize if I do. Crypto firms push for SEC changes. Crypto out of courts. After securing a Republican Senate and pro-crypto White House, crypto firms are now pushing for reforms at the SEC. And it's going to mention Ripple. It's going to mention Coinbase. It's going to mention members of those organizations. It says, with Donald Trump's re-election and a Republican majority in the Senate, crypto firms are ready to advocate for a fresh perspective on federal agencies. Ripple, one of the crypto companies engaged in battle courts with U.S. state regulators, expect expects the new White House administration to remove digital asset policies from the courts, hoping for changes within government agencies. Quote, the SEC is a bureaucracy, but policy is people and people is policy. So hopefully if you change some of the leadership at the SEC, Gary Gensler, we can start seeing a more rational approach to what they have been pushing Ripple's legal Chief Legal Officer Stu Alderati told Cointelegraph in an exclusive interview. Coinbase's Chief Legal Officer Paul Graywall made a similar call following Trump's victory on November 6th. Stop suing crypto, he noted on an ex post. Coinbase and Ripple were among the largest donors to pro crypto candidates in this election. The appeals for a new administration at the SEC echoes a key Trump pledge to crypto voters, ousting on day one the agency's chair, Gary Gensler. Under Gensler's administration, the commission brought enforcement actions to several crypto firms, mainly over the classification of digital assets as securities. Ripple has been embroiled in litigation since 2020. And I've been there the whole time. Many of you have been there the whole time. And it's been a crock of shit. And now is the time to benefit from holding for so long. When the agency challenged the status of its native token XRP, in May 2023, its CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, said the company expected to spend up to $200 million in lawyer fees defending itself. They, the SEC, have spent an awful lot of time and money bringing enforcement cases based on their strict liability theory that certain crypto assets are securities and should be registered with the SEC. That's not something that should be dealt with in the courts. That's a policy issue. It's a legislative issue, noted Alderati. 
President-elect Trump will soon have the authority to remove the SEC chair, but the process would require calls, and any permanent replacement would need Senate approval. Gensler's term is scheduled to the end of 2026, and he's not going to make it that far. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. He's not going to do an immediate 360 and go, okay, these are not securities. I'm sorry. Here's your money back, uh, Ripple. Here's your money back, XRP holders. Here's your money back, Coinbase. Here's your money back, Kraken. He's not going to do that shit because he's already pocketed half of it. He needs to take his merry own little ass that Goldman Sachs has been paying him under the table and get his ass out there and retire and be done with it and let somebody else take over the round. Okay, James Rule Crypto Show. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the videos, share it with your friends, and it's going to be a great rest of the week. It's going to be a great rest of the year. It's going to be a phenomenal 2025. So if you're holding right now and you can be patient like I have for the past seven years, you're going to benefit, not financial advice. But remember, I told you so.